Zion, 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 to our Tzainu, where we tour and travel through our homeland, through Israel. Join us on this week's amazing adventure. for a bus to take me to Meron, which is where the largest party for Lagba Elma in the entire world is. We dance, we sing, we camp out around the campfire. It's so exciting. I can't wait to get to Meron. Hope I can see you there. <laughs> Around the world is celebrated differently. We have bonfires, field day, color war, truck day, but here, here in Meron, this is where Lagba Omer really happens. It's the largest bonfire party in the world. Right here is where Rabbi Shimon Bar is buried, and Rabbi Shimon Bar is at the base of understanding all about Lagba Omer. There once was a man whose name was Akiva. He was the shepherd. Akiva never had the opportunity to learn in yeshiva. He didn't even know how to read alphabets. Akiva once noticed a trickle of water dripping onto a large rock. Over time, it made a hole in the rock. He thought to himself, if a tiny drop of water could soften a solid rock, surely a drop of Tyra could be absorbed into my heart. So Akiva got to learning and he eventually became a great rabbi, and he had thousands of students. Unfortunately, his students didn't have respects for one another, and a heavenly decree was made against them. On the day of Lagwa Eimer, his students stopped dying. One of his students, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yechai, had to run away from the Romans and learn Tyra in a cave for 12 years with only a cat tree for food. Rabbi Shimon passed away on Lagba Eimer. He insisted that the day be treated like a holiday. We march with pride and joy in honor of the RSB and the students of Rabbi Akiva, spreading their message of Torah and Mitzvah and Avis Yisrael to the whole world. <laughs> Eretz Avachalav, Chalav Udvash. 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 Eretz
Rage. 